Now it's time for the success stories. We will have two uh, fantastic uh, presentations with uh, fantastic speakers. And the first of all, I would like to um, introduce the, the recent Latvian uh, success story. It is the fastest growing pension fund manager, extremely professional and efficient team. At the helm of this team is Mr. Valdis Sixnis. Please, welcome. And your perspective. Welcome. <clears throat> Good morning, and thank you, Maris, for for introduction. I I have to be careful now by speaking. I can only spoil that image, but uh, I'll I'll try not to. So let me start by uh, uh, explaining you what uh, what Indexo is. And uh, apologies for those who have heard that story already before, but um, uh, Indexo was established. Uh, more than five years ago in response to the highest fees we were paying for our pension, management of our pension savings in whole of uh, OECD countries. And as a result of those high fees, returns were low. And uh, that was a topic that Ripoff was uh, very popular and was discussed a lot among the people who understand something about the finance, about investing, about the capital markets. But it was like complaining about the weather. Uh, you know, talking a lot, but nothing was done until the moment uh, we saw a positive example in Estonia, where actually the situation was rather similar to, to ours, and there was an initiative to establish uh, a low-cost passive uh, asset manager called Tuleva, and that encouraged us to look at the situation here in Latvia, and we realized actually that uh, by raising very little capital and capturing small market share, we can make this uh, project uh, profitable. Not only design the product, which we would be happy ourselves to use, but uh, actually that's, that's, uh, there is a business opportunity. And uh, as I said, we needed, didn't need much capital. It was possible to invest ourselves, maybe talk to one, two bigger investors and go ahead. But we decided that we need to involve that uh, kind of wider spectrum of uh, Latvian society, and, and we talked to, to many people, and Indexo was actually originally established by 33 uh, founding uh, shareholders. And today, Indexo is uh, the fastest growing asset manager in Latvia, and we have achieved actually more than we anticipated. We have 90,000 customers, we have ha more than half billion assets under management, and uh, in July, uh, we su successfully completed IPO. We raised capital for our next big idea, uh, establishing a new bank in, uh, in Latvia. So as I mentioned, uh, when we started, the fees were super high. And actually, our entrance into the market ignited competition. And fees, not only fees dropped, but actually there is a lot of more all sort of other activity, we see a product innovation, we see other passive, passive, uh, passively managed funds appearing. Uh, so uh, uh, not only index our customers and benefited from that. As I already mentioned, we are the fastest growing, and not only saying we are the fastest growing would be understatement because we are actually by far, we are in league of our own. And uh, those figures are latest June to June uh, customer growth figures when we talk about the second pillar asset managers in Latvia. So Indexo has been success story with three clear winners. One is our customers who are getting better returns. Uh, higher retirement savings, society as a whole, because actually competition has been ignited and everybody is getting a better deals. And uh, it has been also a success for, for our initial investors because uh, they have more than 14 times increased their uh, original investment. So every thousand invested five, six years, years ago is worth 14,000 uh, today. Uh, so why IPO? Why, why we needed IPO uh, at all? Uh, so um, for us, it has been more, more question when, not question if, because we have been sort of de facto public company from, uh, from day one. So as I said, we had over 30, uh, 30 original investors, and by the day of the IPO, there has been some additional capital rises, some secondary market transactions, so we had almost 60 uh, 60 investors already, 
and uh, it's a quite fragmented uh, as well. There is no any anybody con with a controlling stake with uh, with a stake over 10%. Uh, we have been regulated from the beginning. Uh, we are licensed by uh, Latvian Ca uh, Financial and Capital Markets uh, Commission, and we have uh, all the cover, uh, corporate government governance structures in place. So we, we've been governed as a listed company, de facto a listed, uh, as a listed company um, uh, from, the, uh, from the beginning. So our readiness to become public was, was, was very high. And of course, we Nevertheless, uh, the, the, there is always uh, easier ways than, than, uh, than um, IPO or, or listing how to raise the capital. Uh, we could have done some private placement, uh, talk to our 60 uh, in existing shareholders at that moment, maybe attract one to larger investors, and we, we would be able to raise the capital we needed. But uh, uh, we decided that we need to share our future success with our uh, with small retail investors and primarily our, our um, customers uh, because uh, by doing that we also gain a lot. So the, the customer who owns the company uh, is, is way more loyal, uh, it's uh, more open to, to use its products, it's, it's also a really ambassador of this company. It's, uh, we, we see m more cases when, when our customers are recommending to use our our services, and, and I think we will continue to benefit from that going forward. So uh, we did, as I said, IPO this summer. Uh, we started trading on 15th of July, and it was success. We attracted more than 3,500 uh, investors, primarily small retail investors, because the average ticket size, average uh, order size was a uh, little less than 2,000 euros, uh, more than 90% from Latvia. We needed to rise, uh, raise uh, seven and a half million euros, uh, and uh, we achieved a healthy hour subscription. Uh, so that was definitely success. And why why we succeeded? And um, uh, let me share the four main factors. What I believe uh, was a foundation for our success, and one is what I already talked about: is that uh, we have been sort of de facto listed company public company from, uh, from the day one. So we had all the uh, corporate governance structures in place. We had a big uh, uh, shareholder base. So uh, making this uh, next step was relatively easy for us. Uh, the, the second thing is that actually our uh, client base uh, was perfect fit or perfect match also for our uh, investor base. So our customers are well educated. They have an above average income, and, and they re really uh, take care of their finances. They make a pension savings, if you talk about the third pillar pr product particularly. So there was a perfect, perfect fit. And we had as, as a, okay, now we have 90 plus thousand at the moment of IPO, we had 80,000 of, um, uh, of those uh, customers. And uh, third, we, we have a track record, and I think we have also a very, very solid plan uh, what, why, why we are raising money and, and what, we are, what we are going to do next. So today, the situation in a banking market very much resembles me to how it was with the pension management uh, five, six years ago. So we have limited competition. Uh, when we talk about the loans, then, then uh, relative to GDP, Latvia has the smallest volume of loans issued uh, in the whole Eurozone. And, and also those loans are one of the most expensive in the whole Eurozone. So for Latvia, just to look somehow normal Eurozone country, we, we need at least six billion more uh, loans issued. So. Uh, this is not only a business opportunity, this is not only opportunity for index or disrupted market, but, uh, but this is also, this not well-functioning banking market is also a drag for Latvian economy. It somehow slows down the growth, and I think that aspect of our story has been also very, very appealing to our re retail investors. So they, they, they're not investing in index, index or just to get rich. They, they, they're also voting with their money for positive change, for doing something good and meaningful. And uh, the fourth factor, uh, we had uh, excellent advisors. Uh, 
uh, headed by, <laughs> by uh, legal team was headed by Maris here, and uh, marketing, PR team, uh, and, and, and Signet Bank uh, did all the uh, technical settlement, uh, practical things, uh, what we needed at the final stages of, of our IPO. And the excellent advisors team actually let ourselves to focus on a book building process. So we didn't use any investment banks in this, in this project. I'm not saying that, I'm not, uh, that everybody should do that, and investment banks is a is, 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 is bad idea. Quite on contrary, I believe that in nine ca cases out of ten, you need investment bank, and that is instrumental for, instrumental for your success. But uh, we, uh, as explained before, we uh, targeted our, our customer base, and nobody else than ourselves can do it, uh, can do it better. So that is, uh, that is uh, shortly what I wanted to share with you. My, my apologies that maybe those success factors they're not all of them very good as a learning points because some of them it's, it's difficult to, to replicate, but nevertheless, I believe uh, that was uh, instrumental uh, in, in, in our case. Thank you so much, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Um, th Thank you so much, Paul, and, and especially for the last slide. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this, but we have uh, three very simple questions for you from the audience. Uh, I will start with the first one. How index, you mentioned Indexo Bank. Uh, the question is, how Indexo pla Bank plans to compete in Latvian credit market, which is dominated by the large Nordic banks? And of course, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> uh, often asked question, but, but there is no, no one silver, uh, silver bullet, and, and we still are working on it. Of course, to, for us to be able to enter the market, we have a lot of work to be done. Uh, we need, uh, it's a long licensing process. We, we are working on uh, IT systems, etc. So I don't want to start now boxing the shadows and tell exactly what we'll do, and there is no one silver bullet, but we definitely see opportunity. And I said uh, th there is a six billion opportunity, even if we capture a small, small, tiny part of that, uh, our bank, uh, bank uh, project will be, will be success. So uh, it's a bit premature question, probably in six months or eight months or so, uh, we'll be able to, to, to talk more exactly, about that. Exactly, exactly. The other question is, can Indexo IPO investor expect dividends in the future? Uh, of, yeah, of, of, co of course, one, one sunny day, but, uh, but, uh, but not now. Uh, of course, uh, Indexo, asset management company, uh, is generating pos positive cash flow, but the bank is a very capital-intensive uh, project, so in a way, the asset management company will need to recapitalize the bank and, uh, and ensure all the capital adequacy ratios, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, it is also possible that uh, if the bank project will be successful and it will uh, expand quickly, we will need uh, to raise more capital uh, from outside. So uh, there might be. Uh, but it is a growth, the, growth story. It's a growth story, yeah. and I think our investor should not count on an immediate dividend flow, but uh, our investor, uh, I believe, uh, expects and, and should expect the appreciation of the share price. Okay, excellent. But last but not least question, what are the key tips for uh, getting a company listed from project management perspective? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good one. I think you have to definitely go all in. You can't, uh, can't uh, have it like a third priority, etc. It's a minimum half-year project where that must be the top priority for the top management, all the management team, and really you have to focus. You have to have a strict deadlines, uh, uh, you know, the, all the classical uh, project management uh, tools in place. Uh, we ourselves, I, I think we bit under, underestimated that, and, and to be honest, we actually wanted to complete our process months, uh, one month and a half earlier than we eventually, eventually managed. Okay, Valdis, thank you so much. I know they were really all in, and what is most important, 
There were the, the correct sparks in the management board's eyes because without it, without management board being fully on it, uh, uh, capital listings projects will not succeed. Thank you so much, Valdis, again. Let's give him... Thank you.